so I'm starting off by sizing up my long stiletto nail tips and then gluing them on using Kiss Nail Glue. I'm going to be cutting them down into a long square. Here's what they look like. And then I'm applying a base coat. Next up, I'm going to be building the nails using clear Savvy Land Hard Gel. So I'm using my brush to pick up and place a bead of that onto my nail, and then I'm pressing it into the cuticle area and sidewalls. And then floating it down to the tip of the nail. Then to build the apex, which is the strength area of the nail, I'm just going to place a bead where it should be. So right where the natural nail and the nail tip meet. And then I'm just going to brush the hard gel down to both sides. So here I'm brushing it down toward the tip of the nail. And then I'm just gonna do the same thing, but toward the cuticle. making a nice apex area. And then I repeat that with all of my other nails. I then wipe off the tacky layer with some acetone and file, shape, and buff. So I hate hand filing, but I'm doing it today because my nail drill is broken. I have a rabbit and she ate the cord. So I ordered a new one from Melody Susie and that's coming on Thursday. So I'll be doing a review on that. And Melody Susie is having a bunch of sales. So if you want a new nail drill, go check out their website. So once I finish filing everything, I'm applying another layer of base coat. And then I'm going to be coating in my entire nail in black gel polish and doing two coats of that. I love how these look already. So I'm going to be using this gold glittery gel polish to paint some tiny stars. I start off by painting a line. And then I'm going to paint two tiny lines going from the center of the previous one and then one on the other side. I know that it's kind of hard to see here so I apologize for that. So this is basically what it should look like. Once you have laid out the base, like I've done here, you're going to want to cure that and then do a bunch of them on the other places of your nail and then do a second coat to really help bring out that gold. So I just did that for all of my nails. So now comes my favorite part. We're going to be painting on 2021 for the new year. So I'm going with an old English kind of font. You can definitely use stickers if you had them, but I didn't, so I'm going to be hand painting them. And I have to say, I thought that they would be really hard to do, but they were actually pretty easy. So you just want to go slow and once you have something that you like, go ahead and cure that. That way if you mess up on the next part, you can just wipe it off 
and it won't wipe off the part that you liked. I also would highly, highly recommend using a reference picture. That way you know kind of how to paint the numbers. I used one and the one that I used will be linked down below. Using the reference picture as a guide really helped me paint on the numbers. And it helps you get that authentic old English look. And here's what that first two looks like. So now I'm just going to go in and do the zero for 2021. So you just want to continue to paint on all the numbers, taking it nice and slow and then curing once you have it looking how you want.
So once I finish those two, I'm basically just repeating the same thing for my ring finger and pinky. So here I'm just painting on the other two. And then once I like how that looks, I'll go ahead and do the one. So after I finish painting and curing all of the numbers, I go ahead and apply a glossy top coat on. And then I'm going to be taking a matte top coat and I'm just going to paint with that over the numbers. This is 100% optional, however, I just kind of felt like with only the glossy top coat on, you couldn't really see the numbers too well. So I'm just going to put on the matte top coat. So with that matte top coat on there, I now feel like I can see the numbers a little bit better without that glare. Alright, so here's the finished look. If you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more nail content like this. Have a happy new year and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!